Well, I'm glad everybody stuck around. This was a really <laughs> fine piece. Uh, you know, I have this long speech, but I, we're, we're at the twilight hour, so I'm going to be very brief. Um, <laughs> First of all, I want to thank all of the folks from CRLT who helped put this event together. I especially want to thank uh, my colleagues from the School of Music, Ed Sarah. Um, I mean, where do, you, where do your talents end? I mean, Ed is a flugelhorn player, a composer, a scholar. It just goes on and on. And it's not often that you get uh, someone who's played in major symphony orchestras in the cello section or someone who's performed with the Metropolitan Opera to sing in an ensemble in your honor. And I also appreciate all of the students. It never amazes me um, that we have so much artistry among our faculty and students in the School of uh, Music, Theater, and Dance. Just to be brief, I want to thank all of the speakers, President Coleman, Provost Pollock, uh, Dean Kendall, Associate, I'm trying to get titles together, <laughs> Associate Vice Provost Loretta Thomas, my good friend, Governor Caperton, uh, thank you for coming all the way from West Virginia to be with us. Uh, who did I miss? John Matlock, uh, my buddy. I have no one to go to Wendy's with uh, at noon, but John is back. Maybe we can, for old time's sake, go. I'm missing the other speakers. Carol, Carol had to leave. Oh, oh, she had to leave to catch her plane. But thank you all for coming. I do want to introduce my family who've um, come out to meet me first. My wife, Jean, stand up, dear. Yeah. It's, been, it's been 43 years that Jean and I have been companions. And had she not been with me in Liberia during the mid 70s to get my dissertation work done, I never would have gotten my PhD. So dear, thank you. I want to introduce my, my sons, my oldest son, Nicholas, stand up, Nick, and his wife, Kiana. My son, Danny, from Los Angeles. Nicholas is from, the, and Kiana from the DC area, and my youngest boy, uh, Brian, from Atlanta. They, they all left to the, leave Gene and me to shovel all this snow, but anyway. <laughs> And then my, my oldest brother, and my, my oldest brother, Herbert, from Southfield. And my, my first cousin, and let me just say, among the Vi people in Liberia whose music I study, first cousins and brothers and sisters are called by the same name. And Faye is my first cousin, but we grew up as brother and sister. And her son, Patrick Turner, Yeah, Pat Patrick is a U.S. Marshal. <laughs> and uh, Herbert's son, Rod. And you should be careful with him, too. He's with the ACLU. <laughs> but Nick uh, works with a government organization in, in uh, D.C. Kiana's a nurse. Brian's an audio engineer. And Danny works for the Queen Latifah show. <laughs> so I'm very proud of all of my sons. All right. I, I must recognize people who have come long distances. I've already recognized Governor Caverton, but my good friend and colleague who I've worked with for 20 years in the provost's office, Karen Gibbons, is here. She came all the way from Florida. Where's Karen? Right there. Thank you, Karen. And I, I had a number of things to say about Karen, but the, the time is getting short, and I can't read these three pages. But um, Karen was just such a wonderful mentor, and. And, and made the workplace so delightful to, wor to work in. Karen, thank you so much, and say hello to Tom for me. Okay. And let's see here. I'm just going to touch on these things because I want to get you all out of here. Uh, of course, I've talked about John, but uh, his wife, Margaret Matlock, we're all really good family friends. And I'm still upset because you didn't bring Robin. And I knew, do need to say something about Governor Caperton because he was president of the college board when I was chair of the board of trustees and chair of the 
Academic Assembly Council, but one of the things that he um, supported was this National Task Force for the Arts and Education. Um, and I don't want to say how much money you spent on that, but it was a lot. And, and it's really making a difference in the K through 12 schools, uh, the over 5,000 member institutions that belong to the college board. So Gaston, thank you so much. And we've had wonderful times in China, of course in New York, and I really miss you a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and to, Mary, uh, to President Mary Sue Coleman, I must thank her for all that she's done for the university, but there are things that really stand out to me. And one, I mean, they've been talked about today, but her global initiatives, especially the one to China and the one to Africa, have really had a tremendous impact on, on my life. I work in Africa, but she, through all of the things that she had started with China, we were able to get the Confucius Institute here, and she was very supportive from the very beginning, and I have enjoyed being with her all these 12 years. Mm -hmm. And to Provost Martha Pollock, who is one of the nine provosts and interim provosts that I have served with, I want to thank her for her support and especially getting me set up for uh, my time going back to the classroom. I have a wonderful lab being set up over in the Duderstadt Center, and um, Provost Pollock has been very generous in helping me equip that lab. So Martha, thank you so much. And I, I do hope that they have gone home. Um, that's my immediate staff. They work so hard. I hope they have already gone. But if they're still here, Laura Harrington, Dilip Das, and Jennifer Earhart. Oh, okay. I, I work with them daily, and they have just been great. So finally, I do want to thank um, then uh, Provost Gil Whitaker and uh, uh, President Jim Dudestad for hiring me here. It took a lot for me to leave sunny Santa Barbara to come to snowy Ann Arbor, Michigan, but it has really been worth it because this is a great university. I'm going back to the greatest school of music headed by the greatest dean in the country and Christopher Kendall and all of my great colleagues, um, many of whom you heard from today. I mean, it is just something. George Shirley, um, Jerry Allen, uh, Robert Hurst, the bassist, and all the students, I'm sorry, Robert, you know I know who you are. <laughs> you get the microphone, you get nervous. But, uh, but all of these folks are just top flight scholars and musicians, and I am really happy to rejoin them. Let me just run through five quick things, just to highlight some of the things that, um, that have happened uh, during the time I've been in the provost office that really stand out to me. One has to do with the Martin Luther King Symposium, which continues to be the largest commemoration of the Martin Luther King Day uh, in the country on a university campus. Of course, the uh, flying off the, um, the deck of the USS Teddy Roosevelt that the Navy ROTC people helped me with, that was a really real thrill. Uh, the fact that we prevailed at the Supreme Court, establishing the National Center for Institutional Diversity, establishing the Center for Educational Outreach and the Confucius Institute. These are all really highlights of my career in the provost's office. So I want to thank everybody for that. And I can't forget the 2011 um, tour of China by the University Symphony Band. And that was a real thrill for me. So again, thank you all for coming. This has been a great run. Uh, I look forward to rejoining the faculty. I look forward to having a little bit more time to do things that I would want to do. But thank you all for coming. And God bless.